Welcome back. The Michigan Fiber Festival is this weekend at the Allegan County Fairgrounds. So today, Jennifer Ackerman Haywood of CraftSanity.com and the Grand Rapids Press is here to help us do a little crocheting. We're talking fiber as in fabric as opposed to fiber in our food. <laughs> right, we're talking yarn. and A celebration right, of yarns. Right. I, I'm all about fiber in the food too, there are <laughs> benefits, but um, that's not what we're talking about okay, today. Okay, good, God, glad we got that straight. Yeah, I haven't been moved to the nutrition beat. <laughs> So crocheting is something I've been doing since I was five. Yes. I had giant glasses. I dressed like a little professor and I crocheted nonstop. Isn't so you can imagine cute? how popular I was. Well, my grandma <laughs> taught me to crochet too. And it's a really, actually an easy craft for kids to learn. It is. In fact, this is not as nice as what you're going to find at Fiberfest today. But I brought this ball of yarn because it's uh, easy to show. But it's if you want to get chunky yarn, yeah, this is the chunky yarn. You can find this at all the major big box stores here. Um, and when you're starting with kids, you, you work them up to the fiber fest yes. fi a fiber. But what I did is I just made a little loop here. I'll do this one more time. Just made a little loop. Pull that Pull through. through. And so yeah. if you with kids, you don't even have to have them using a hook. Just reach through, pull the loop up. And then you just make it small. And this is how I started my kids. Yes. You know, with, they can just use their fingers. You don't need. And you're a making hook. a simple chain. And you're making a chain. And these can be used as bracelets, as Cute. necklaces. And you know, you actually will occasionally see these in department stores where they want to sell for fifty dollars. Isn't that thing. something? And you're just like, wait a minute, I can make that. So <laughs> moving on to what you will see at Fiberfest, there's a couple local yarn dyers, uh, Yarn Hollow and Briar Rose Fibers. They make really cool stuff. And Beautiful They're, they're Grand Rapids based. And this is a yarn hollow. Uh, one of the folks over there made this great wrap. Oh and this my. is cotton. And what they what they're doing is, and if you, if it's just it has great drape, and it's yes. so it's a very basic concept. What they're doing is they're taking these um, hanks here, and they're they're basically just combining several colors. And they're, mm -hmm. so they'll be selling these today, and so you can get a grouping of different yarns different weights and then what you do I, I did this one this one was a single strand mm -hmm. so they did most of the crocheting on here is a double crochet single strand uh, so there's a lot of holes which yes, is very airy which is nice it's yes and this one I doubled my to see what would happen if you had a little more weight to your yarn I just took two I'm using a doubled strand yes. here and just combined it kind of randomly here and I did some double and treble cro crochet here but what I'm doing is I'm using a, a giant hook you can find Again, these. to get that loose stitch. Yes, to have a loose stitch, and it's fast. I mean, you can do this and just uh, sitting there watching TV, watch a couple programs, and you're good, you know. Um, so I'm just doing a very loose stitch. This is also good. When I was a kid, I would do projects, giant afghans, <laughs> pretty much double crochet. I would make giant balls of yarn, and they, they would be giant. Like, I would take three strands of yarn, mm -hmm. wind it into a giant ball, and make these things. And so you just go along and... Just by combining, and you can you could combine one color with the other. Yes. And what this ends up making here, you can do one of those cool scarves where Very you wrap cute. it around and pull, and it, pull through. it through. Yes, yes, and of yes. course you wouldn't be connected to your hook still. <laughs> Yeah. But I appreciate your willingness yeah, to demo. My, my willingness to choke myself with a bunch of yarn. But look how but cute. Yeah, yeah, and you wouldn't have your ball of yarn here. But it's, I mean, and it's something that is light enough that you can wear it in fall. Yeah. Um, spring, you also could wear it indoors during the winter. I mean, if you wanted to, you know, mm -hmm. have a flamboyant look in, yeah. at your desk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, I love it. So, yeah, I mean, so there's a lot of things you can do. And again, I mean, they're just combining cotton yarn, different weights, and they're really encouraging people to be... Just, you know, try different things, mix yarns and not worry so much. There are some other trends in working with fiber. We're going to take a break, but when we come back, Jenna's going to show us another way of working with silk that is really cool and really hot. So stick around. We're back with more. Welcome back. We are back with craft expert Jennifer Ackerman Haywood, and today she's showing us a weekend crochet project and more, or at least an excursion we can take to get inspired if we like to crochet. Oh, yeah. I'm really encouraging people to go to Fiberfest today. Um, it's free today. You can get in for free to shop the vendors. Over the weekend, there's a charge, uh, $5 to get in for adults. And but, there are the, the yeah, stats on it. Yeah, it's at the fairgrounds, and I'm actually seriously like leaving the studio and going directly there. Are you really? So I'm not joking around. And um, I know today, one of the things I brought, I wanted to show uh, the folks at home, one of the new trends in, um, well, it's actually, I mean, all this stuff, when you say new trend, it's all been done before. Yes, I mean, of course. These things, it's cycle, again. these things cycle back through, but um, Briar Rose Fibers is selling um, silk bricks, is what it's called. So it looks like a ball of silk. And it is just as soft as oh can be. Oh my gosh, and it's just beautiful. And when you unroll this, you see what now, colors you got in your We might even actually see people at Fiberfest 
who are just draping these around. Um, and the idea is you can spin this or, now I have worked with this a little bit, so it's um, not in the most pristine condition that it will be in. Yeah, when people, it's gorgeous this is not a, though. But yeah, so I have worked with this a little bit, but what you're doing here is you can actually, without spinning, you can just work right with the, wall, the raw, raw wool here without having to spin it. And so what's happening is you, you um, just unroll the brick and then you just pull off some fiber all the way along. And what I started doing here, because crocheting, the crochet classes were filling up at Fiberfest, and that's what I've used to gauge in the resurgence in popularity locally uh -huh. of crocheting, I decided to do a crochet project with this. And all I did is pulled off a little bit of silk at a time and I'm just doing a double crochet. Mm -hmm. And this, you can go back and forth, and this can be a scarf. I could go, I could have made it longer, and I could do a wrap. Mm -hmm. it, there's a lot of things you can do. And what's really exciting about this is you don't have to own a spinning wheel. You can knit directly off this, too. You don't have to have any fancy equipment. And I would recommend this project for somebody who already knows how to crochet. Yeah. Because the fiber is, it's a little trickier to work with. Yeah, so um, this is more of an advanced type yeah, of I'd material. Yeah, say, I'd say more like an intermediate, like you know, you've done crochet crocheting before start with the yarn and then move up to this and this is such a luxurious thing to work with it's mm. so beautiful now if people like to see uh, a finished product and a little closer to home the artisans market is always a great choice yes. it's on Sundays and I wanted to remind people that there's been space available for vendors and so I know a lot of vendors are always like oh I don't know if I'll get a space if I go down but if you go on um, the Fulton Street artisans market uh, if you're a rookie go this Sunday check it out talk to some vendors but I love to see People get out there with their work mm -hmm. and, and get it before. It's a great place to test the market. Yeah. Because it's so affordable. $7 for a booth. I mean, can you beat that? It, now, you are interested in people's work because you're always looking for ideas for your column and your magazine. Yeah, and I think that for one of the things I've just made kind of my, my mission in life is to promote local people who make stuff. Because mm -hmm. I love I love making things and I love shining the light on other people who do it. So, yes. I mean, I want to, if you make something, contact me, Jennifer at CraftSanity.com, and you might see your work featured here on a segment because we talk about a lot. Of yes, we do. Who make things. Um, I also publish Craft Sandy Magazine. I'm working on the fall issue. It's kind of in the bag, but I'm looking for winter ideas. So uh, anyone who wants to contact me, we'll see if we can get the light shined on them and their work. I love it. And the other place, of course, where you might see it is in the Grand Rapids Press. And you have Sunday's column yes. coming out. What's in that? Sunday's column. I've been traveling this summer. We bought a used motorhome, which has turned out to be a total money pit. <laughs> I, mean, I love it. Like every time we go, something breaks. So it's not the most cost-effective way to see the state and the crafts men and women. However, I did have a fantastic trip to Claybanks Pottery in New Era, and Laura Pounder is actually a Kelvin grad, so she's from this area, and she makes pottery, and she has this destination pottery studio. It's oh, fantastic. Very cool. Very, and she has a shoe tree out front. So bring your old pair of shoes, throw them up in the tree for good luck, and then go in and buy some pottery. You know, I really love great. it. So okay, you see that in Sunday's Grand Rapids Press. You can find more information and how to get a hold of Jennifer on our website, WZZM13.com. Click on Take 5 links. Thanks so much for watching. Coming up Monday, we'll check out some of the antique cars that will be featured at the upcoming 28th Street Metro Cruise. Plus, we'll make wood-fired pizza. And does your tween or teen want to wear makeup to school? We'll look at ways to set the limits that work for both of you. Have a great weekend. We'll see you here Monday for more more take.